Hello, my dear friends. You are welcome to Jonathan Online Class. Now, in this class, or in this particular video, we are going to simplify this task on the board. The question, of course, has to do with salt, and it is have to do. It has to do with rationalization of salt. So we are asked to simplify salt five plus salt three all over salt five minus salt three. In other words. Square root of 5 plus square root of 3 all over square root of 5 minus square root of 3. So this is salt simplification. But this is a special case because we are going to treat this salt with conjugate of the denominator. That is rationalization of salt using the conjugate of the denominator. That's what we are going to apply in solving this particular task. Now, follow me. Looking at this, we are the conjugate of this source simply implies change this minus sign into plus. If you have plus at the denominator here, you change this into minus. The source remaining the same. If you have as we have minus here now, you change into plus and use it to multiply the numerator sort and the denominator sort. That is the method. So we are it will now become sort 5 plus sort 3 over sort 5 minus sort 3 times sort 5. Remember what I told you? Plus sort 3. That is the opposite of this minus is plus. All over sort 5 plus sort 3. So who should be equal to? Now we have a simple method there, but I want to uh, follow the rule to show us how we arrive at every figure or every answer in the step. So here we have, this simply means this times this, and this will times this as well. And this times this, and also this times this. So, sort 5 times sort 5 will give us 5. 5. When the sort, if I have sort 2 times sort 2, it is equal to 2 because it simply means sort 4. That is square root of 4 is 2. That is sort 2 times 2 and 4. So with this knowledge, with this knowledge, we have um, sort 5 times sort 5, half 5, then plus sort 5 times sort 3 will give us sort 3. So 5. It is like when you have x times y, you have xy. Then we come with this plus so 3 times so 5. We also give you plus so 3 so 5. Then plus so 3 times so 3 will give you plus 3, like I have explained. So that for numerator. And coming to the denominator, we have so 5 times so 5. We have 5 again. Then sort 5 times sort 3, that plus sort 3 half, plus sort 3, sort 5. Then minus sort 3 times sort 5 give you minus sort 3, sort 5. The minus times plus here is what? Minus. Sort 3 times sort 3 gives you what? 3. This is what you are going to have. Then the next step, we look at this, we simplify further. By like terms, we add this and this are like terms. It's like when you have xy plus xy, that will give you what? 2xy, but they are like terms. So, using this knowledge now, apply here. So, it will give us plus 3 root sub 3 sub 5 plus sub 3 sub 5. That will give us now. So, we have 5 here already. 5 plus 2 sub 3 sub 5. How do we get this? We will have sub 3 sub 5 plus another sub 3 sub 5. We like we will have xy plus xy. We have 2xy. Right into two places. Okay. So that's what this means. Then plus 3. All over. All over. Then 5. Then this one is like how you have, if you have xy, 
minus x to y. Of course, that will be zero. So plus three plus sub three sub five minus sub three sub five will be zero. It's like it's like having plus x to y minus x to y, which is zero. So with this null analysis, it becomes we are left in the numerator with five minus three. We are left with five minus three, but this we cancel this. So our answer now we have five plus three. These are like terms. Please be mindful of this. These two cannot be added to this five because they are not like them. This one is multiplying this. So we have five plus three, which will give you what? Eight. So we have eight. We have eight. Eight plus two. Then we have eight plus two. Then looking at this, so three times sort 5 will give us sort 15 because 3 times 5 is 15 and they are in sorts so we have 8 plus 2 sort 15 all over 5 minus 3 is 2 so this is what we have but at this point you cannot add this 8 plus 2 they are unlike terms this is has to do much this is multiplying sort this is ordinary 8 so this is a perfect square 8, a perfect 8. This is multiplying sort. Remember how we got this 15? Because this is a sort. So 3, 3, 3 times 5 is 15. And it is imperfect. It is not a perfect square. So it is still a sort form. So at this point, you have to be very careful. It is critical here now. So and do not just say uh, do not just say 8 plus 2, 10. So what you are going to do is this. This simply means. 8 over 2 plus 2 sub 15 over 2. That's the implication of this. That's the implication because the LCM is 2. The denominator is 2. So this divide is half 4, of course. And uh, this side, this gives you what? This gives you uh, 1. So invariably, what we have is what? 4 plus 1 times sub 15 is what? Sub 15. So this is what we have. So see what we did here. So I separated them. I separated them to see what it gives us. So this is 4 plus sub 15. When you separate them. Okay. So our final answer, if you go to the options, so our answer is the option C. Option C is the answer. Option C, which is 4 plus sort 15. So this is answer to this problem. To tackle these challenges like this, you just follow the rule. Remember the conjugate. If here is minus, you use plus. If here is plus, you use minus and multiply up and down. And when you're multiplying, be mindful of the fact that when a sort multiply itself, it gives you the perfect number. And, and when you have similar sort like this, you can add them together or subtract accordingly. Thank you for paying attention to this class. For more of this, visit my YouTube channel at Jonathan Online Class to enjoy mathematics and physics videos. Also